and welcome back to Attingham Park. We're headed down to the shop today because uh, we've got uh, a few bits that we've ordered uh, that we've got to come and pick up that we need for the farm. So we're going to bring this in here. I'm going to see if I can park this somewhere where it's going to be easy for me to load this up. There we go. And uh, we've got... Uh, two pallets of manure here that we need to pick up and an IBC full of fertilizer because all of our grass and all of our uh, spring barley needs spraying uh, in order to make sure we get the most out of them. So, uh, yeah, let's get the side down on the trailer. And, oh, actually, this is new. Oh, after I complained about that, uh, how horrible that little uh, Lindy uh forklift was last time for loading things things up looks like the shop's got a new forklift that's good news that hopefully will make this whole process easier anyway i'm gonna get the um i can get the side down on the trailer and then we'll jump in the forklift and start getting this loaded up now i've positioned this hopefully where it'll be quite easy to do there we go the surface at this shop is really uneven it's, uh, it causes all sorts of problems with uh, with little bits like this. I don't think this... Uh, I mean, the problem with the, the little uh, Lindy... Oh, you can see the tips of the things on this. This is a much better forklift. There we go. Oh. We opened the back. So we can just uh, slot things in. There we go. There's one. I think I might have to open this at the side as well. Might do that just to get this IBC tank on, I think. Let's uh, pop out and do that. Yeah, I thought I could... Um, I thought I could unload this at the... Uh, put this on at the back and unload it easier, but I don't think that's going to be the case. We might rework how that manure is on the back there. I want to get this uh, IBC tank on here first, though. So, up with that. Whoa. Yeah, the unevenness of the shop floor here is uh, is still causing us issues. You might want to think about maybe a little skid steer or something. But getting these on from the side much easier prospect there we go yeah that works better might see if i can uh, the nice thing about this i think we've got adjustable forks on it so we can uh, should be able to get this uh to do stuff fairly well just gonna push this on a little bit the strap all this down before we put on the uh, the sides but it should work fairly well for us. Um, yeah. It's going to be a double stack, though, of the uh, the other bits. And that should then. We're a little bit front heavy with it up this height. A little bit further. A little bit further. Right. We'll have to take it slow going home. There we are. Perfect. So uh, we'll go park this up over here. Next time. I think that one's bust. That hasn't moved in a very long time. Right. So there we go. We'll uh, we'll get this all strapped down. We'll have to uh, go a little bit carefully back because that is quite a high thing of manure um, that we've got strapped onto the. Uh, I can't really bring more than two pallets or something back, I think. Um, but yeah, let's get this all um, closed up and then we'll head back down to the farm. It's been a little bit of an interesting journey back. The uh, the trailer's been a tad squirrely, um, but we've got a fair amount of weight on it at the moment, to be honest. Uh, we are uh, we're doing okay, though. Uh, we've got it back. Been having a look at some of the fields on the way back. Um, things are looking fairly healthy 
um, around here mostly um, there are a couple of places where uh, the crops are looking a little bit um, dodgy but in general where's my trailer uh, in general things are okay just gonna bring this up here there we go we should be able to get yeah good access uh, with our telehandler here so let's take all the straps off like so and uh, and yeah we'll get the trailer opened up and then we can head off over to here and in here should be my telehandler so we've got our two tractors now that we've got the uh, massey ferguson 1250 uh up and running that we found in the bushes up at the bga uh we've got our fast track 150 and we got our telehandler here which currently has the bucket on it so we need to go and get this changed over and yeah then we'll be able to go and uh, unload our trailer and um, we want to put all of this probably in the shed at the end uh, which is our shed where we store stuff Oh, oh, I hope I didn't uh, damage that. Spinning around a little too fast. There we go. Drop that off. And then we'll go and connect up. Alright. Oops. Let's get them in. There we go. That worked well. It's straight over here, and we'll uh, we'll get the stacks of manure off. So much easier to see what I'm doing with this than with that forklift. Just ease it in, especially at this height. I mean, that height is perfect. Look at that. And then over here, we've got our little sort of lean-to, which I'm using to store all this kind of stuff. And while our telehandler won't fit between the uh, between the uprights of this, what we can do is just extend that out and put it down like that. Works really well. That means things will get to nicely to the back. Um, and this trailer is so much easier to load and unload without those sides on it. It just makes the whole job that much easier. And that much quicker. And yeah, this manure, uh, we're going to go and fill the... Uh, well, we're going to go and uh, yeah fill the bucket with it. This should be enough to last us a little while. Uh, at least hopefully until the cows arrive. My plan very much is probably in... Well, I'm hoping that in the next month or so, we're going to have the silage having fermented, and we can then put that into the BGA. It will then be the end of the month before uh, the power companies actually pay us for the power that we uh, that we put through. Uh, and uh, and then we should have enough money on the farm to uh, a get the cows and b get the chickens um which both of which we need so uh yeah that should be good i'm gonna leave this actually over this way we want this accessible to our uh sprayer so while the rest of this i can get out using this uh, I don't really want to have to lift this out, so I'm just going to put it down the end here. Like so. Oh, no, that's not going to do it. Oh, sometimes they get stuck on here. There we go. That's got it off. Yeah. Sometimes you have to release the, uh, the forks a little bit just to sort of jimmy things off or... Uh, I bet as long as you're careful to reattach everything, you should be fine. Uh, that, though, is all good. And, oh, let's go do the manure for our... Uh, for our greenhouses first and go and get that tipped. And then we can uh, we can get JCB out. We need to get that into the workshop 
because I need to get the thin tires onto it uh, to sort that out ready for some spraying. So buckets on the front of the teller handler. Let's bring this in here. Need to make sure I'm picking up on my manure. I go into the side. And then we can bag some of this up. All right, let's bag this up and uh, and take it round. There we go. I've emptied one of the pallets into it. We uh, we put a little bit more in. Um, should all be good though. And this will uh, keep our greenhouses going for a little bit longer. They've been uh, they've been a godsend actually. Being able to uh, to get some money in from these greenhouses early on. It's just giving us a little bit of a trickle into the farm at the moment. Uh, we should be able to, to get a similar sort of trickle going with the chickens. And then after our first year on here, I'm expecting the cows to start producing some milk. Uh, once we get them, which should be good as well. Let's just tip this in here. Like so. It doesn't fill it right up. Uh, but it will keep the greenhouses producing for now. Uh, and then we'll put the second pallet in uh, in a few days. Just to keep that all ticking over and looking good. Uh, which is uh, which is great news. So now I need to go and get the JCB into the workshop. And we can get some tyres on it suitable for doing some spraying. So I've got the care wheels on here. They actually cost me a thousand pounds to get them uh, to get them for this, um, but we we do need them in order for our crops to uh, not be killed by our tractor as we're going through, and to have a little bit of care through them. Let's start up the JCB, and we're going to go and put the sprayer on uh, on this side here, and get this all loaded up. Uh, we're going to start with field 36. I'm going to get that sprayed uh, today. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's probably going to take me a few days to get around the whole farm. And get them all done. But uh, we should be good. Get the PTO all done up. And get this list. Uh, oh, uh, going to lift this. Hopefully, we'll clear the shed. We'll keep an eye out for that. I think, yeah, this does. I saw those. I didn't think I'd put it in there unless uh, unless it was going to clear it. So uh, yeah, I want to get this hooked up and uh, and get the fertilizer filled. So um, we'll, we'll get that done, and then we're going to head out to the field and uh, and get it sprayed. Something I still need to do uh, on the farm is get a um, pressure washer. <laughs> we're looking at the state of my JCB at the moment we've been working with it for a few months now and yeah it is caked in mud from uh, from all the work we've been doing with it and yeah it could really do with a wash my trouble is i don't have the money for it we've only got six thousand four hundred and sixty six pound at the moment and uh, and we need all of that going forwards okay let's Get that folding out. And while that's folding out, I'm just going to go and close the gate. There we go. And uh, yeah, nice, nice little span on this, uh, uh, on this Amazon. We want to lift it up. I'm going to take, yeah, the guides want to be just above or just on the crops. At the moment, they're, they're quite a way into them. So what we'll do is we'll uh, get into here. And we'll lift this up. And you can see those little hooked guides are now just above. And on with the sprayer. And away we go. Around the field. And uh, yeah, let's get some uh, health and help back into our crops. Been speaking with an agronomist 
about the state of the farm and uh, and and sort of trying to get the most yield out of everything and he suggested that i uh that i get the field scanned um in fact he's offered to to do it for me uh in order to uh to get the most out of the fields and uh and sort of to to get the best yields out um my my biggest worry about it is uh is that we'd need to install some equipment in the tractor uh to make sure that uh, everything uh produces as it should and so uh yeah we're we're gonna look into it i i think at the end of this year we may get our field scan see what actual soil types we've got here uh see what's the best way to go this first year i'm very much uh concentrating more on getting the animal uh set up running and uh and going and uh yeah this is this is why we planted the uh the spring barley because we need the straw more than anything let's keep that away from the fence and so hopefully we'll get a, a nice amount of straw from these two fields i think we're going to look at pl planting some winter wheat in the uh field uh in, in a, a new little field that we're looking at creating in uh, in that big grass field as i was talking about before and uh, and sort of getting that right and trying to make things uh, work for us that way as well uh all in all it should uh, it should mean that we get a nice uh amount of uh boosts to our yields uh if we can if we can get the uh the soil uh stuff working and he says it definitely is the future of farming you know that the this whole uh precision farming setup is is going to be the thing that uh affects farming the most over the next few years so we want to make sure that we're in on it as early as we can be uh, if we're going to make the farm thrive uh, I think we've got a little bit left and also I don't have to run around hoping that I'm uh, Getting all the crops right There we go. That's all done. Let's get the uh, Sprayer folded in While that's coming in we can get the gate open There we go And now I'll take this out here and we're gonna head up to the other uh, spring barley field up the top Get that sprayed. And in fact, I don't think I've shown you guys this field yet. Well, I'm gonna move slightly forward I'm gonna hit that with the gate. Uh, I don't think I've shown you guys this field yet um, It's uh, should be quite a good field for us uh, It is so much bigger than the little field we have here. In fact, I want to go the other way Let's back this up. There we go. Still got about 65% of uh, our tank of fertilizer, so that's all good. One thing I do want to do is I, I don't like the fact that we have to run on the road, even for a little bit, to get into our farm. Um, we've got this area here, which is in the way, which I think is some old tithe cottages. Or old farm cottages. I'm not sure. They certainly predate the farmhouse that we've we've got on Brompton Farm. So I'm wondering if, uh, yeah, I don't I don't quite know that uh, where that is. But uh, yeah, so they have a garden area around the back there. But we've got this fence running all the way down here. Um, yeah, so that's the back of their property there. Uh, and we've got the farmyards just the other side of this fence here. So uh, I'm wondering if it's possible maybe to put a road down uh, here into this corner and, and maybe put a gate in. Uh, just just sort of so that we don't have to go all that way around and we can and we can get onto this farm track. And access uh, all of our farm from here would be good. But uh, yeah, this is where i put the new field in i didn't put it all the way up to the gate here i wanted to do sort of a, a half half split um but yeah it's a nice big field at uh, the top we've got here so i'm gonna unfold this uh given the proximity that the top end of this field is to the river 
Uh, it might be the wrong way around that I've done this. We won't... Uh, I maybe should have put the, uh, the arable field at the bottom half and the uh, grass and the more meadowy area uh, towards the... Um, Towards where we're, we're likely to have siltier clay soil on this. Um, but without having the whole thing, as I was saying before, without having the whole thing surveyed, um, I won't really have any kind of idea as to um, what the makeup of the soil is. I can, I can get out the tractor and I can feel it, of course. Uh, and I can get a rough idea, but a, a proper analysis is always going to produce a much uh, better idea of where we are and you can see the size of this field compared to our small one this is why i divided this grass field up uh we i just wanted the extra land uh to use on this i'm going to be spraying the grass with this fertilizer as well my my hope is that once we get into the cycle of of twice a year with the bga uh doing the uh, selling uh silage into it that we're, we're going to be in a position where the grass, we, we can use digestate on it and get that uh, going that way. That way, saving us money on, on fertilizer and hopefully uh, maybe going and doing some uh, fertilizer contracting for other farms uh, to help pay for it. It wouldn't take much, really, to uh, get the... Uh, to, to pay for our fertilizer costs uh with that so uh yeah i'm very much hoping that that's going to be the case going forwards and uh, and that we can we can do things that way and uh yeah the more self-sustaining i can get the farm the quicker that we will expand this I and mean, we've spent less than five hundred thousand. spent less than half a million getting this farm up and running uh, it's a small farm. We don't have a huge amount of uh, a huge amount of land or of anything else. Um, but what we what we do have is uh, we have something to build on uh, with uh, with the BGA that we've got and and the ability to have some animals and uh, and the fact that because we don't have a huge amount of land. We're going to have a certain amount of uh, freedom each year uh, to to go and do some stuff uh, for other people. Should make sense for us as well. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm very much hoping that we're uh, we're going to be able to to go out there and uh, and maybe use what we've got to uh, to make a little bit of extra cash. It looks like we've got just enough fertilizer to get this field done brilliant yeah down to uh just 26 liters uh it's pretty good that means uh yeah that's our two barley fields done uh top of the next field over there that's where i want to get some winter wheat in i think uh once we've uh, once we got through this year's cuts if i the, the grass is uh yeah looking uh looking a, a bit thin but it has been cut recently so i'm not surprised we'll get some fertilizer on that and that'll help it grow um but uh yeah it's uh that's where we're gonna leave it for today harvest is fast approaching a couple of months time and uh everywhere we'll be getting a combine out so i should think we'll get out there and help with some carting on that um but for now all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.